Well, welcome, welcome. Okay, so um, like I mentioned yesterday, uh, by the way, I'm not going to be doing <laughs> stop or this um, much filming that I or as much filming. Oh Lord Jesus, as I have recent the past three days. Um, I start back university for spring on Tuesday, so my time will be taken. I'll be doing more shorts than I will long videos, so I will keep updating everybody on my day-to-day -day life, if you will, through short videos, so be sure to check those out as well. Um, it really helps the channel out a lot, and, um, golly, would you stop? Um, yeah, so anyway, so this is, sorry for the cat. He's part of it. The my A5 planner um, that for 2024. I got this for my birthday. I mentioned that in my last video. I'm sorry, dude. I have to move you. Like I need the spot that you're sitting in. Okay, now you stand on this side. Thank you. Um, let me adjust. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Um, so. <laughs> Here. Oh, this is going to be a lively video with cats. It may not even make it through. I, I've got to try and keep it short. But uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, if you want to see what the um, the planner cover itself, check out my video I posted yesterday. I'll do my best to link it for you. If I remember, if I forget, just let me know. All right. So in this, I use this planner for everything. This is my um, this is our family's like brain. This is the mothership of everything um, from my daughter, my husband, myself. Um, the hey, don't knock over my thing. Are you kidding, y'all? He's lively today. He wants to play. Come on, go get it. There, I got him off the thing. Um, he's like a dog. He plays fetch. Uh, yeah, so it's it's the mothership. Um, it's in pair with my pocket. This is more private personal type stuff. I'll do another video of this without music. I mentioned that, but let's get through the A5 first. So in this pocket here, I've got some stickers. Uh, I just stuck this mushroom sticker on a piece of vellum for, to tie the mushroom over to this side. I like balance when it comes to my visuals. I've got some Meg B makes, um, icon stickers like functional stickers if you will this is a grocery list that actually belongs in my pocket um yeah in the gold foil um i have all the foils for this but i keep i just put the gold foil because that's my uh, metal that i have in this um i've mentioned in the past i don't really decorate too much but i do like to coordinate um if you will uh, in this pocket here, I've got some more stickers. Now, I stuck these stickers for work mostly. I do like using them in my pages as well because they're very thin. But I have them mostly for the kids at work. To, uh, well, actually one student in particular um, that I work with. Um, I work with her one-on-one, -on -one and she's the one I work with the most. Um, and each day to check her attendance, I, she puts a sticker onto, the, onto my... Um, in my planner and I'll show you the show, show you guys that in a moment uh, okay so we just got these are like those Japanese like journaling stickers I don't know exactly what they call them but they're very thin and I love these I've had these for a while but I'm obsessed you know I love cats so it looks like orca oh apparently I have something oh yeah I do have a couple other things y'all I've got a couple of mushroom stickers don't know why I need these really but, um, I guess my obsession with mushrooms are, is very real. I've got some dot stickers, a couple of, Orca! Oh my lord. Hold on a second, y'all. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so dot stickers, uh, a couple of hand stamp stickers, some older ones in there. That's what I have in there. Oh, he's back. He's back. He doesn't leave for long, y'all. He's being a hot mess today. He wants my attention. In this zip pocket here. Got more stickers. You're like, for someone that doesn't decorate, you all have an awful lot of stickers. I do. Um, this, because university starting again, spring, um, pick up, drop up. Orca, y'all, I am so sorry. He has lost his damn mind. Hold on a sec. <laughs> so sorry. Anyway, just shut the door. He's going to cry in a minute. Um, 
university pick up drop off um just cutesy pootsy i'm gonna just use those grocery shopping icons hand stamp stickers i use these a lot i love them um i this year i've decided to actually carry my stamp icons with me so uh once these are out i can kind of just use those but a upside to carrying um actually making my own hand stamp stickers is one cheaper two I, it can cover some of those languages that are in my file effects inserts. I do have some more dots here from cloth and paper. I have not bought new stickers, okay? Um, I am using what I have first. And as you can see, I make most of my stickers. The functional stickers I use the most, I, I hand stamp. So, um, on Avery labels. So, yeah, but I have not bought new stickers or anything like that. Uh, the planner's new. My husband got it for my birthday. This fountain pen's new. Got it for my birthday. The inserts are new. Got them for Chris. My birthday is, nope, got those for Christmas. Or it was like an early gift because I needed them early. Um, because I like to start planning kind of early to get, figure out how I'm going to use my pages. Um, anyway, back, I've got paperwork for work, um, some bill stuff. Most of this is work paperwork. And then I've got some note, little, I punched these note pages here, these um, list pages. I cut them down to fit, and my husband got me this for Christmas, put it in my stocking. Um, it's a note uh, a pad. I think he got it from Walmart, actually. Let me see. Yeah, here it is. I love it so much. I actually asked for it for the fridge, but this uh, doesn't work well. It was too heavy to put on the fridge, but I like it so much I want to keep it in here uh, for me to use in my A5. So another glorious thing about using A5, very easy to punch things in. Um, let's see, more pockets. In the back, I have this... Midori notebook that has all kinds of information. I will not flip through it, but it is a grid. Some star stickers just chilled out. This is actually a um, barcode for someone's AR. More stickers. Okay, so some numbers stickers. Again, I'm using the stash I had. I honestly have a lot that I didn't realize. I used to have so much more, um, but I do use these in my pages, which I will show you. I'm actually going to stick these in this pocket back here. There's another pocket underneath the no, the notebook slip pocket, so put it there. And of course, my beautiful fountain pen. I did mention this in my uh, kind of like overview video of the planner cover itself, but I didn't realize it was so out of frame. Uh, this is leather here, this beautiful Italian-like leather, and then the stretchy the elastic so you can use thicker pens this fountain pen is glorious i love it so much it's a japanese fountain pen it was about 20 something bucks almost 30 bucks but totally worth it gold metals beautiful nib writes very smooth doesn't skip it's a piston so you have to up your ink um also for my birthday i requested a black ink got this the first one that came broke um I believe this is a pilot. It's from Japan, uh, but the second one did not break, which I'm thankful for. Really enjoying this ink right here. Lovely. Um, I have multiple fountain pens I use, but this one's been my favorite thus far, um, and it's not even my most expensive one. This is my most expensive one, I believe. This was my very first, like, super expensive fountain pen. This was a... It's very old. I've had it for many years. Um... It's got some wear and tear. It's real gold leaf. It's it's real. Not fake here. And then this is... Um, can't tell if it's gold or silver. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. So, Alright, so let's see. The next thing... So that's it for my pockets, really. Um, I just stuck this fly leaf that goes... With, it comes with the planner. Um, again, I've mentioned this on the kind of introduction video for this planner that 
it is real leather, but it's it's a very thin leather le leather leather, um, and the uh, whatever kind of co see you can even see where the inside pockets. That's how thin this is. Um, you've got to kind of roll it a little bit. Be easy with it, gentle with it. It's not cardboard at all, but be gentle with it so you can loosen it and make it floppy. Um, I mentioned I stuck this in here for more structure, which is the case. I forgot. Um, the t front here is very, they cut this too long, I believe, and I didn't like this look. So I made a choice to stick this in here, A, aesthetic reasons, because I like to tie the green in. Um, but it kind of helped with this a bit more, uh, gave it a little more structure um, when I opened my planner. Because when I opened it, it was doing something funny, um, and I didn't like that. So we, I just, we, I decided to just um, do that. And I'm glad I did because it worked out well. And putting papers in the back help. So the different sections that I have here are um, inbox monthly schedule weekly notes and miscellaneous which is a reference section so in the front um all these images um I'm, this is a forest mushroom theme all these images are free to use all free picks um it's it's ai generated uh you can just type in your kind of style or theme that you want on google and it will pop you can find these types of things and i was able to print them at home thankfully my printer is a decent one and i hadn't used it in a while for a pick so at first it was kind of liney uh kind of not pretty but after a while it actually once it cleared up and flowed more smoothly i got some beautiful images now you will get some some of them do have watermarks that personally doesn't bother me too much because they deserve to have some sort of, you know, recognition, recognition, but I just, yes. So there is some collaging done with these. Um, I just picked multiple mushroom in images and kind of cut and put them together and decided how I wanted to do this. Um, I am using this Ollie clip. I don't think I've used this one before. I've had it for a long time. I haven't bought any new Ollie clips. I have many. And this isn't even all of them. Um, I have many Ollie clips. And like I said, again, these are not all of them. I have them in different notebooks too. Um, I just realized I had so many and I don't use them all. I just, I like using them though because they're good to have. I like to hold my pages down with these, especially in TNs. If you guys use a TN or a bound notebook, they're really great to have to hold your pages down. So I use them most in those, but I do use these to clip on any kind of information in the front that I need. Plus, let's be honest, it's pretty. <laughs> so the, this one I felt, I was thankful because this spring is coming and this one just looks really nice with the color theme, I think. Um, and then I have my key um, insert here. So it's basically, it, it is a card insert from cloth and paper. And I just, I have like my AM, like, okay. I, having ADHD, I have, um, my brain works very differently, okay, than some people, but I'm learning to, work with my brain all right and one of the things i've recognized is that i need triggers like lists the reason why i write so much and need to write everything down is because my brain needs some sort of trigger to remember certain certain things so having like trigger lists like this um really help out uh my pocket planner is literally i would call it the trigger planner because a lot of it is mostly trigger point bullet points and stuff so this is a key. This is my AM routine. And most of this is on work days. This is mostly work days. Um, my weekends kind of vary. But I ha I'm trying to re kindle like my power hours. They really were helpful for me in the past. And these are part of that. So these are some things I can do during that I need to get done for power hour. By the way, I will be adding a new insert in here for or some sort of planning for filming because I need to track what I'm doing. I didn't think I'd go this hard as I had as I have been the past 3 days on the filming. Uh those shorts really tr like 
lit a fire under my butt to do more. But I do have some spotlight tags on here. Uh, this is the AM and then this is the PM side. I do more in the evening than I do in the morning. These are my color codes um, and goals, 2024 goals. This is not detailed goal oriented. These are like the basis, the, the overall general goal points. Like I said, it's a trigger list for my goals. It's for my brain to be like, oh yeah, you need to focus on these. The more detailed like each thing broken down is in the meat of the planner. Uh, highlighter. Okay. So I do have two different color codes because they're the same like general idea for color. Like the colors are fit so similar, but with the dots, you know, I need it's a code for specifically the dots and then for highlighters, right? Or markers or pens or whatnot. Um, I do use a, let me show you. I wanted to show you like all my materials and stuff today. So um, I will not be going into the meat of my planner in this video. I'm showing you like my materials and like how, what I need to plan, if that makes sense. So I've got these as of right now. Uh, I need a pink mild liner. I don't have a pink one anymore because they have used it up. Um, I have a Sharpie pink I may use, but the thing about my Sharpie highlighters is they bleed through everything and anything. I am going to add it though. Um, the, the thing is, uh, okay, hold on. The inserts that I do have are fountain pen friendly. Filofax has been making fountain pen friendly inserts. Okay. I love it. It's, it's so smooth. I like it so much. Look how white this is as well. I'm more of a cream toned person, but that's okay. Um, and then my daily pages are very thick. They're dark red, something I got off Amazon, but here's okay. Like I said, we'll get into that another time. Um, so I use this, this is to me, this is considered a, um, a tool for my planning. Okay. I also use these little, these little page markers to indicate which week I'm on. I use again, Ollie clips. Um, let's see, I use some washi tape, which I'll show you cause it's part of materials. I use stamps. So let's get into that. So other things, let's check the time. It's about 17 minutes. So let me just go through some of this. Um, yeah, so I do use this for color code. I'll use this. These um, are neutral, and this is an alcohol-based um, pen for to write on um, the, not vellum, but the transparent sticky notes so they don't smear. smear. I use those a lot in here. Uh, for example, this is covered with transparent sticky notes, um, so I can, so I don't have to print out extra the purpose of my pocket is not to hold on to things but to just keep to keep up up with things to keep up with tasks and stuff like that um i do have habit trackers that will stay long term um so yeah i use post-its i use i mean i use all kinds of stuff but for the ace five specifically i use mostly this and the stuff you see in the pockets. Now this is my pouch. I'm going to do a separate video on this, which will come directly after this one. Um, I use stamps and icons and post-its and like I said, those little page flags. It's, it's pretty, it's not simple, but it is at the same time. So, um, yeah, let me show you the beauty of this planner. Um, the images let's go ahead and just show you the images i've used uh this is for the inbox isn't that cute i love it on the back i like to put backing i used to not add like back backings to my uh you know decor if you will but now i have like at least a hint of something i'll cut out or yeah a uh, hand stamp to do i just like the simplicity of that this is basically just stuff to do i've got some tracking here um, some more tracking. All this is tracking. All right. And I'll go through that later. This is so pretty. I love how this just looks. Um, my inbox consists of like 
uh, lists that I look at daily. Again, trigger lists. Also, the getting things done method somewhat. I don't really follow a distinct method. I just follow what works for my brain. Um, and so I do have a master list, which, uh, you know, whatever. It's usually mostly in my weekly. We'll get into that later. Projects. Um, waiting on university classes um, that I'm doing this semester. Uh, this is like lists for cleaning and I'm trying to get back into the power hour. So a lot of that is, that's what a lot of this is. Um, this right here is like edible plants for the cats, power hour lists. Yeah. So whatever I'm, my main focus is like this month it's been for January has been getting back into routines as most people. The power hour has been huge and I've been keeping it up. So here's the next view, if you will, for the monthly. And there's this is one of the images that streaked was one of my first images, but I kept it because I liked it. It's my most busy image. A little bit of vellum that came out of a flow book. And here this is literally what it, it's Filofax monthly, so you can see how I stamp. I use I do use stamps for this. Um, I'll go ahead and write whatever in and then go back and stamp. Like for example, this one. Um, I've got a full year plus uh, pages for like the end of the month kind of thing. I'll, I've decided to try setting goals per month. Okay, like power hour here and then personal like my skincare routine. I've been able to keep those up and then a review will go there. But I have the full year of that as well. And then here's another one that didn't print that well, but it looks nice. I think it looks like a seashell. Uh, this is for schedule. And the back of this one, again, simple, simple, like it. Um, at first I was using these. Um, this is from my Disbound. I was using a tool Disbound system for a while. Um, these, these inserts came off Amazon. Um, I wanted to try the tool because of university I needed to carry a lot of stuff around but then I found something that worked better for me when it came to university each semester has been different <laughs> because each class is different or the vibe is different so I've gotten into using let me see I use spiral bound hold on. for for uh, notes I've been using these like small spiral bound uh, top spiral bound notebooks for notes and stuff to make it easy and accessible and of course any kind of printouts and stuff and books I write in my books so I use that for study as well and then we'll break it down now if I want to do pretty notes because I'm going to have anatomy coming up I'll probably use my large tool notebook for that um, something with grid uh, okay so yeah, I was testing out how I wanted to track things. This was actually a mood um, tracker, and I kept this, but put it somewhere else. I really liked the symbols I used, so I did start doing that. And then, of course, the dots, meaning different things, bills, and all that played around. And then this is, you know, the same kind of layout that I use, that I use in the Hobonichi cousin that I used last year. So this is 2024. I can't show to, I mean, I did cover it. So these stickers, like I mentioned, uh, my student does that each day she's here. I have important information, uh, covered. I'm sorry. I can't show you like how it works, but, um, I can, I'm going to do a plan with me, like kind of breaking down how I do these in the day, but this is all students work and stuff. So I can't, really show y'all that um but this is kind of this is this upcoming week um which i'll do a plan with me and i don't have work this day we probably won't have it i start my university classes this day so today's focus is to get my like desk and stuff in space in space in order and i really need more room <laughs> i need more room for my desk space i can't study in this small space unfortunately i like to spread out so I'm thinking of swapping like my vanity area, which is a built-in desk to this desk and then my actual workspace and study space as on the built-in. Um, haven't quite figured out how that's going to work, but 
I will do film shorts for that. But yeah, I will go through a plan with me for this. So that I have up until, I have the whole year, but up until June in this because I'll take those out and then put the rest of the year in. Um, as most of you know, June and July, I, um, swim, I'm a swim coach, so I use these heavily. Again, uh, this, this basically, this kind of layout is for work. So it's really a work section. Um, here's the next beautiful, cute, and cute. Um, so the back of this one is there. So this is my personal weekly daily, I guess you could say. I say it's just daily because I look at it daily. Now, I need to do some back planning for this. But I set this up a little bit before I started the inserts that, uh, the dated inserts from Filofax. But I have the week here, and I broke, it's, it's a week on one page, and I broke down into three sections one for weather one for gratitude I really need to stick with the gratitude um and then three main tasks and then I just bullet journal the just basic bullet system for dailies again here did the same thing this week which is December 18th through 24th and then 22nd 23rd and then 25th through 31st same thing started adding a running task list and then I started my spiral decks. Um, I have a stamp for this, and I will go through that when I go through my pin pouch. Um, yeah, so just playing with the pages. I use these for dailies, and then we go into 2024. Um, my husband got me some washi for my birthday. It's really pretty, so I use that in here. This is all just paper from the printout. This is actually collage, you can't tell, but there's like, this is a piece. And this is a piece, <laughs> it's different pieces, but I like to make things as seamless as possible. So here is the, this is the um, file effects. It is a week on two pages. It's actually a week on one page with notes, just like a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I got that version. I really am enjoying it. This is my first week in them. Spiral decks, I really enjoyed using that. So you would, some people may ask, like, why do you have, like, a broken down schedule here and in a spiral deck? Like I said, this is mostly work. This is more personal. This is, like, a basis, basic spiral deck. So it's just, it's not as detailed, if you will, but it gives me an idea of how I spend my time, which is, I use the Coletto for that, for it a lot. Um, I have my color code in there for that. Sometimes I skip it, sometimes I don't. Um, here we are for this week. I need to go back and do my gratitude for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've been busy filming, so I kind of missed out. But, yeah, you can see I use it. Um, I'm also learning that I need to, to maintain and manage my home and my tasks and my life. I need to minimize what I do and, like, what my expectations for myself are are too high sometimes. So, especially when I um, ha go back to university on Tuesday, I need to do, like, a power hour. My cats are going crazy. But, yeah, I did film one of these. I think it was this one. Filmed this on a uh, short video, which I plan on filming my dailies on short videos. But I just did a bullet system here. Very sloppy. I'm not super neat in my planner. So, I also need to do a end of the week review. I was going to do weekly tasks that I wanted to do. I will not do that. will not set this up for next week. I um, prefer a one of the lists that I can punch in instead of this. So I can put it within each day, like this week that I did that, this like this. Um, this, I think, will be just for a review. So here is next week blank. Um, I'm going to just break it down in two sections instead of three because on my daily pages I put the top three focus tasks. Um, so there's no need for that. So, But I also wanted to start doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, like logging my meals because I have a tendency not to eat now. I've lost 90 pounds, <laughs> which I'm thankful for. I had gotten really big due to depression and things like that, but now I'm getting my life back, if you will. Um, so it's good to kind of see when I'm fail like needing to eat more. But the thing is, I also fast uh, monthly. Every month I'll take four to five days to fast, like eat nothing. I will drink water though, like so it's not like a real fast, I guess you could say, but it is a type of fasting and I do intermediate fast quite often, mostly on the weekends. But um, yeah, so I'll break this down, I guess, into three again, like I was, and then whether 
gratitude and meals or I'll just do meals on here. Depends on how I want to stamp it out. So this will be a video as well, just getting that ready. So that's what these stickers that you saw in the back are for. I put the put the date stickers over it. Because there's so much language here, I don't have a problem with language. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not the case. Um, but it is it takes up so much space. So I need to get some white out actually to cover that up. Again, these uh, grid pages are really nice, um, nice paper. Uh, I got these for university, <clears throat> and you can see they're like a centimeter uh, more narrow. So the inserts that came with this planner cover are also this small. So I think that's why this is just a naturally more narrow planner, but I like it. I like that these are a little more narrow because they go well with the weekly. I don't know. They just fit nicely. I like it. I really love my daily section. So I do have, so this is what it looks like without the stickers. I don't necessarily need these stickers to be honest, but I don't know. I wanted them to stick out from the language. So I like them either way. It doesn't matter to me. Like I said, I'm not a neat planner girl. I'm, I'm, I'm functional. So I have until again, June. That includes, I already put in all the daily pages in there too. Whoa, hello. That just flew. Um, anyway, so here's the next. This is getting long. Next look. Next slide. Back page. Notes. Again, simple. Uh, so this is literally just notes. I'm not going to go too deep. A lot of this is private. But um, pet friendly house plants. You know, fun stuff like long-term notes. Um, these are things that I don't reference as much. The you would probably wonder why I have like two. This is kind of like list two, I guess you could say. You're probably wondering why I have like two sections. So basically, the inbox has lists, and then this. But my brain works like this. So the stuff in the front are things that I look at need. Like I said, trigger reminders, and these are like I don't need to see every single day. I can look at it later. Again, Filofax pages. I'm, I'm just so for the file effects pages this year. Uh, next vibe. Totally cute. Um, so this is a private section. It's miscellaneous. Um, I actually drew some of this, collaged some of this. These are from different parts of a mushroom. It's I made it work, baby. It looks seamless almost. Literally, yeah. Anyway, love that. Trust. Uh, this is important to me, especially when it comes to God. Um, I'm struggling y'all to keep, to keep like my relationship with him strong, but I'm trying sort of, I need to do better. But anyway, these are like passwords and stuff. I do have a colors of the world kind of, uh, thing. Uh, this is where I plan my projects. So for example, um, this is my daughter's closet. This is my, the back area I actually have come, you see the check I've completed this project um it's our art room <laughs> our art room um and then bathroom i've actually completed this as well so um i need to plan out my new layout for figure out how i'm going to do my desk space so that's what's in this and then i've got some more course grid pages reading log here i wanted to start reading some psychology books as extra extra study for me um to figure out kind of I just I need more psychology um that is my major and I love it so much I'm enjoying it I'm doing well 4.0 girl I know I don't know how but I'm doing it um I need to read some extra things that aren't within my you know day-to-day -day classes so here's the end so this is the back this is highly collaged has multiple different images but I loved how it went together here this notebook again is for work and emotional writing it's just it's just a mixture of things so that is it I hope you enjoyed this video keep an eye out for the actual um, detailed use for my uh, guts of my planner um, until next time love you so much bye guys